Good afternoon, everyone. Thick ice catastrophic for gray seal hunters. Area here on the map, ice so thick they can't even access the seals. Bottom of the Arctic sea ice map, interesting how NSIDC shows below average ice in that area. Story out Alaska's Bering Sea lost a third of its sea ice in just eight days. Area in the Chukchi Sea. Top of the ice map, this time from NSIDC, showing losses, but looks like it's recovered February 24th. Also, the temperatures, minus 8.9 C. Maybe somebody forgot to tell the authors of that piece that during the Grand Solar Minimum and the Maunder Minimum, Alaska had anomalous warming. And as the European super freeze intensifies, northern Italy, minus 28 C. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Some incredibly interesting stories coming out. Anomalies all over the Arctic Circle with sea ice reporting. First one here off of Robert Felix's site, IceAgeNow.info. Seal hunters come back empty-handed. The ice is too thick. So that grabbed my attention instantly. I thought, where would they be hunting these seals where they're blocked access due to intensive ice coverage? It's off the Magladen Islands in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It's over on the east coast of Canada. And this comes through the reports of the hunters themselves. They've set out on two different expeditions, but failed both times to reach any seals for hunting. They did not bring back a single seal, which is interesting. And even the Inter-Quebec Sealers Association talks about it being catastrophic. Now you notice to the south of the circle at the Magladen Islands, Prince Edward Island, and then New Brunswick. So this is the area to look at on the map here for you. It's actually at the bottom of this sea ice map here, and I've put the orange arrow up into that exact area where the seal hunt could not be carried out because of too thick of sea ice. Yet the NSIDC shows below average sea ice there with ice concentrations diminished at least 40% in that exact same area over that exact island, which is stunning to me. And by the way, all of you that thought the seals might be disappearing because of lack of sea ice, Seal populations have ballooned from around 400 in 1999 to around 10,000 today. This is on a separate island that's not approachable by any types of hunters. The Canadian government has put it off limits. And then following in the heels of that report, another one Alaska Bering Sea just lost a third of its sea ice in eight days. This is about the native villagers on St. Lawrence Island who participate in whale hunting. Usually in the autumn, they rely on whale meat for survival through the winter. I guess they survived this winter because they got zero whales during the autumn. They're just getting their first whale kill right now in late February. Now, the report continues on. It says the last two years were Arctic's warmest on record. So I'll just come right up here and I'll say warmest. Okay, it's minus 32.9 degrees Celsius at the moment in the Arctic. Even if it was warmer, let's say... 19 Celsius below zero. Do you think that sea ice is melting at 19 degrees Celsius below zero? And I'll even give you 20 C over normal just to make it fun. Ice does not melt until it gets at least zero and above. Now some of the storms spinning up there could break up some sea ice, but in terms of melt, that's not happening. Area here on the map that the story is referencing, it's between... Russia and Alaska, and you'll see the large island there, St. Lawrence Island, Chukchi Sea area. Let's bring you back to NSIDC. Orange arrow points to that area of loss that NSIDC says is at least minimum 50% and more. So we'll take a look. And now look at the periphery of the sea ice extent in that dark blue. It's quite easy to discern where the edge of the Arctic sea ice is up in that Bering Strait area. Move forward to January. 2018, it actually shows more than what's on the anomaly map. And for sure, when we move into February 24th, that sea ice has actually increased. Look at the extent pushing out into the strait now. Let's take a look at the sea ice concentration map from NSIDC again. I wanted to break this down. Top is where we have the Chukcha Sea, Bering Strait. They show the sea ice concentrations diminished down around 40% or so of coverage. 
Also, when we come back in, the people who write these types of stories about the warming Arctic and the warming Alaska, look back into the grand solar minimum fingerprint of warming temperatures in Alaska. Alaska warmed, contrary to where you think in the north, it's just gonna get cold everywhere because the northern climes, the southern climes are cooling because of a grand solar minimum. There are isolated pockets in the Arctic that warm significantly, Alaska being one of them. And actually this story about the diminishing sea ice in such a fashion at such a rapid pace, it shows that the grand solar minimum is intensifying much more quickly than anticipated. And you see those other areas above Russia that are showing the warm pockets during the grand solar minimum? These are the same areas that the global warming is always pinpoint on to show that the world is warming. And let's take a look at today's null school temperatures. Minus 8.9 C out on the sea surface extending to the very edge Although there's a cyclone blowing up there, that's gonna be ripping up some sea ice. But just in terms of pure melt temperatures, and a look at the Arctic sea ice extent, red is operational product where we are currently. How far below the normal does that look to you? Does that stand out? Significantly lower over the last five years. And speaking of anomalous temperatures, the European super freeze is underway, and we're looking at minus 28 degrees Celsius in the North Italian Alps. And when we go over to Slovenia, that area along there, down bordering through Croatia, dipping down into Greece, minus 11.6 C. At the edge of March, and the temperatures are supposed to cool from this point into the first week of March. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. There are anomalies left, right, and center on this planet, yet nobody's talking about the grand solar minimum and the mainstream media as the cause for all of this. Please do some of your own research. I've linked everything below.